Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that I'm sure you all have been waiting for. It is what's in my hospital bag. I'm only going to be doing my hospital bag. I'm going to do a separate video for Noah's hospital bag, uh, diaper bag or whatever, because honestly I don't have his diaper bag yet. I don't know which diaper bag I want. I'm being really, really picky because of uh, with Naraya, her diaper bag, I always got like Somebody always bought me one, so I was always having different ones. So I am going to buy my own this time and something that I like. So uh, yeah, that's how come I'm going to do his separate. This video might be long, but I'm sorry. So bear with me. Um, when I had Naraya, so last baby, when I had Naraya, I left the hospital the next day. My labor delivery delivery went so smooth I had nothing wrong with me nothing was wrong with the baby thank God and I was able to leave the next day so I overpacked I had so much stuff and the doctor told me that this time it's gonna be even more easier so I figured if it was that easy with Naraya like I don't need to pack that much stuff so I didn't overpack and even if I do have to stay longer or knock on wood like I pray to God nothing ever were to happen but Tino can always come back home the hospital isn't far from my house so but um I do have what I'm gonna take to the hospital packed um obviously like the little things are gonna be packed last minute I, I just packed them right now so that way you guys can get an idea of what I'm bringing to the hospital but obviously I still use them here at the house so I'll pack them last minute so like the little last minute things but um, I'll get right into the video because I know this is gonna be a long video so um, bear with me guys bear with me so, um, sorry I'm trying to see I'm trying to fix myself so for the bag that I got I got it at Target in the dollar spot section and it was only five dollars um, this is how it looks I still have the tag on it it's a really big tote I love it I love the pattern on it I love the color so this is the bag that I have and I'm also gonna pick this bag that I got for Target from for the little gift registry I'm gonna bring this as well because it has like the little things that I need to occupy myself in the hospital but um, I'll start with the big bag first though all right so I'll get right into the big bag this is from Target, like I said, in the dollar spot. I got it for $5. It's really spacious and roomy. I don't have any big bags, and I didn't really want to purchase an expensive one because um, I don't go places. I don't go on trips. I don't do a lot of things, so it's not like I need this bag all the time. So this is just going to be a one-time use. Or I'll probably use it again, like if we go to the beach or something. It comes in handy. I love the little, like, rope, how it has it, so get started I just packed on the top some really loose pajama bottoms see how they're super loose huge I packed these um, with Naraya I messed up I packed only sweats and a like three t-shirts to be honest I didn't want to wear anything I just wanted to be in a long t-shirt and some boy shorts so I'm only packing this in case like in case I feel in the mood to wear this but after you have a baby you don't want to be putting pants on and stuff like that it's just not the business after you have a baby um I packed a loose shirt just something really loose so in case I just want to wear boy shorts and a long, um, long shirt also very handy for breastfeeding um, this is my favorite. I bought this special for me because I never buy myself anything. And plus, this is what I want to wear when I come home from the hospital. It's a robe. So here's the back of it. And then here's the front. It's a robe and a nightgown. I really, really, really like it. Um, it's going to be super comfy. I got it at Kmart. The original price was $32.99 and I got it on sale for $7.99. So that was a super good price for this robe and nightgown. So I'm packing this so when I come home from the hospital I want to wear this. Um, also got a nursing top. 
So this is it. Tank top. And this was also on sale as well. The original price is $14 and I got it for $4.99 at Kmart. So I'm excited about this to wear it. I actually want to wear it already, but I'm going to save it for the hospital. I don't need to wear it right now because I'm not even nursing yet. And then I packed some boy shorts. Just two pairs. I don't really know how long I'll be in there. Um, a pair of socks. They come in handy. I might just throw in another pair, like fuzzy ones. Socks are like a big, t a big time must when you're in the hospital. I packed some slippers, my comfy, trusty slippers. <coughs> Sorry. And then I, obviously, I'm gonna have my phone. Um. And I'm going to be taking, I'm using my vlogging camera right now, but I'm going to take my vlogging camera as well to vlog it. But I'm going to be taking this huge, well not huge, but this nice camera that I film my videos with, like my sit down, my makeup, all that. Because I want to film like the birth of my child. So I'm going to take this and a tripod. Um, the tripod will fit in here, so, um, but I'm using it right now. But this is what I'm taking. Um, these I'm going to pack in a little baggie, but I'm taking some really large pads because last time I didn't take any. I didn't know what to expect. It was a first time mother. Um, and I didn't have YouTube, so I couldn't even watch these type of videos to know. But, um, I'm going to take these because after you give birth, and I'm doing the natural way, so you're going to be bleeding for a couple of weeks, and these come in handy. Um, and then I just, I throw this in because I always forget to bring hair ties and I'm going to need one. So I just keep it in there. And then I have my makeup baggie that I will get to for you guys. What's inside of it. And then I have my toiletry baggie that I will also get to for you guys as well. So I'll do that coming up next for my... Thing. And then this bag, I'm going to move on to this bag. Um, I just have my hand tripod for my vlogging camera when I vlog. Uh, I have the iPad to keep myself entertained while I'm going through labor. Um, uh, my, sorry, my charger for my camera. For my vlogging camera, I got an extra Sims card, um, chargers, I need to really go through this, but <laughs> chargers, uh, my headset, my headphones, my headset, my headphones, and some batteries, because my camera does take batteries, so I'm just going to keep a pack of batteries in here just in case but that's what I have in this little baggie and then obviously my vlogging camera will be in this bag as well I'm just using it right now so that's why you guys don't see it but um that's for that bag so yeah yeah <laughs> I don't know what to say I'll just move on to my makeup bag this I got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar it is so cute and it has a lot of room inside this is Obviously makeup that I use daily, so I'm not going to pack this until last minute. Um, and it's all last minute things. I'm just going to be taking a... Because I don't even know if I'm going to want to wear makeup. But I'm going to take the mist for lasting long. I'm going to take a primer. I'm going to take my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation. Um, CoverGirl powder my eyebrow kit, a blush, and my like type of bronzery blush thingy. And I'm going to take my bronzer, but I have it inside my makeup box, so I didn't bring that. I'm going to take a kabuki brush to blend it all out, a blush brush, my bronzing brush, my powder brush, and lipsticks, chapsticks, and um, I just don't have them in here, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea and a blender. 
I just wanted to give you an idea of what will be in my makeup bag when I take it. I'm not sure if I'm going to have makeup on when I go. I'm not sure if I'm going to want to do it. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel, but I want to make sure that I have this with me in case I want to put my makeup on. I don't know. Um, I didn't have makeup on with Naraya. I didn't even know what to expect going into labor, so I wasn't prepared for this. But I'm going to be prepared this time. Next is my toiletry bag. This is a bag I've had for years, so I don't even know where I got it. I don't even know what came in it. I'm just using it. Um, obviously, I'm going to take a toothbrush. I always get these toothbrushes. My mother-in-law is a dental assistant, so she always brings us toothbrushes, so this will be in here. I'm going to take Tylenol because I don't know if I'm going to get a headache. I don't even know if they'll let me take it, but I'm just going to take it in case. Uh, shampoo and conditioner travel size. Um, my cocoa butter stretch mark cream, a shower gel, and some lotion by, it's like a juicy couture type of thing. And I'm going to take some eczema cream. I do have eczema, I don't know if you guys knew that, but I have eczema and it usually hides out, breaks out when I'm under stress or pain, so <laughs> I'm going to need this. I don't want to be itching and having horrible itches on my legs and my arms because eczema is no joke. I'm going to take a travel size hairspray just in case I need to do my hair. A brush. Um, some little wipies just in case I need them to take my makeup off if I go with my makeup on or just if I'm there longer. Um, breastfeeding pads and um, little storages for my breast milk. I don't know how full I'll be because I'm already full. Um, I know because I've checked. But uh, so in case I need that. In case I need this um, Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Spot Gel, I'm going to take it. Um, I have like three of them, so I'm going to take one. I'm going to take my Carmex for chap lip. And then also I'm going to take my repair for my hair. Because I always put it on after I shampoo and wash my hair. I'm going to take my face wash. And then last I'm going to take my little travel kit from Victoria's Secret. It's like a little um, moisturizer, just stuff like that so I can have... Uh, with me so I don't feel so smelly I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna smell or not and I don't want to smell <laughs> so yeah that's basically my toiletry they usually provide you with like squirt bottles and toothpaste and stuff like that but I just want to be prepared in case I don't get that because I am gonna be delivering at a different hospital than I did with Naraya so I just want to be I just want to be prepared I mean you can never be over prepared I mean sometimes you can like I was with Naraya but anyways I'm not going to get into details, but that's basically what I'm bringing for myself for my hospital bag. Uh, I'm going to take a blanket as well. It's like a really fuzzy blanket that I, lo I love to sleep with. I'm going to take that, and then I'm going to take a pillow that I want to bring from home because I want to be able to feel comfortable, but obviously you guys don't need to see that. It's just a pillow and a blanket, and then you guys will see it in my vlogs because I'm going to be vlogging the entire thing. So uh, yeah, that's basically what I have in my hospital bag. I hope you guys get some tips. I don't know if you guys are going to go into labor, if you guys would like the tips to you, the tips that I'm giving or stuff that I'm taking that you guys didn't know to put in. Um, I know I enjoy watching hospital bags because I get tips from them or from other moms, but uh, I know I know how I am. I tolerate pain really well. I'm going to go into labor and already be like six centimeters dilated. I was with Naraya. The doctor told me I will this pregnancy will be a breeze like um, I don't feel like I'll be staying there longer but just in case I do I mean I just want to be prepared um, for that and like I said if I need extra clothes I don't live too far from the hospital so Tino can always come back and get extra clothes for me but uh, yeah um catch you guys in my next video when I'll be doing the baby's diaper bag so um I'll see you guys then bye